I'm back. And I just did research. And Tim Norman has stated that he didn't have his nephew murked, lined up to be murked. He did not arrange his nephew his nephew's death. So here's my question. You're basically saying that Terrica Ellis is lying. You're saying that the $10,000 that Terrica Ellis received from you with that check, she just got it as just a gift for being a good side chick. You're saying that Travel Hill just happened to just do it on his own and that Terrica is lying about picking him out to do the hit. You're telling me that Wally, a person who was once in the music industry, and there's a connection between YL Yangnam and Nelly because he produced Nelly's iconic album, Nellyville. You're saying that he's lying? Now, he didn't show up for court and tell his truth. And I find that to be interesting. Which means that I don't think he should take, his plea should be accepted. So, who and why was Andre killed? Unless you didn't arrange it. This is why I say, what if he's really telling the truth? What if it wasn't him? Not because he's trying to deny it, but what if he didn't set the thing up? What if he lined up the people, but what if he didn't come out of the head and be like, listen, I didn't do this. I didn't set it up. I was told to set it, arrange it, but I didn't create it. I didn't put this plan. I'm not the originator of it. I didn't come up with this idea. Looking at everything and what this man said, you got to think of one thing. Why would a person who lost 10 years of their life from the age of 17 to 27, was in jail from 1997 to 2007, go back to jail, knowing that they have not one but two children. They have a son that's basically their namesake and they had a brand new he has a brand new daughter I believe from another woman why would unless like I say like Tim is not normal in the head either but why would somebody think of doing that making all this money having all this access to the entertainment industry give that all up and risk it all to Go back to prison for life and smile and grin. Unless they know something that we don't know, which is, hey, I did bring the people in, but I never arranged for it to happen because I'm not the one that created the idea. And y'all going to all find out. Remember that smirk in that photo? That wasn't just a smirk of, yeah, I did it. It was like, yeah, y'all being fooled about who really had this done. Remember what Miss Robbie said? The person who had my grandson killed is in this room. She was too confident in knowing that. Too, too confident. Look at the sub, look, read between the subtext. Listen to the subtext. Why did Janae, why does Janae not want anyone to, in the family, with the exception of little Charles, to be near her or little Timmy? Think about that. You don't want your son near your family his father's people this thing is deep 
And you know what? I'm going to go live about this. Oh, I'm going live. I'm going live about this. And with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for tuning in and listening. And I'll be back to discuss Andre's mother taking a stand.